a very good morning my friends so welcome to my channel so guys as you know that lockdown is going on so i thought let's learn something new and let's uh, share it with you guys okay so uh, i come up, come up with a very small uh, and very good topic okay it's called lombok okay so it's a small java library so basically uh, so it helps us to reduce the code okay so whatever the unnecessary code we are writing in the java okay uh, like the all the boilerplate code can be easily removed using this particular library it's very helpful very easy to uh, implement and it will be a fun for uh, it will be a fun right so let's start with lombok the name is funny right so i googled a bit what why the uh, okay so let's i will show you the first the project okay so this is the project okay this is the official site of the uh, project lombok so if we go uh, with this so it says that the project lombok is a java library that automatically plug into your editor and build tools spice spicing up your java okay never write another getter setters okay etc so we don't need to write any getter setters equals method etc to string all this thing we don't need to write side so basically it's spice up your java so what why they are saying the spice up so if you see uh, so I, I googled a bit so lombok is basically an island in indonesia and the chili is very famous uh, the chili of uh, that island is really very famous okay so that's why uh, the name of the project is lombok maybe the uh founder of this project uh, uh, love these chilies that's why okay fine so what we need to do you need to simply go to the maven uh, project okay download this uh, uh, this is not loading i think as of now so you can simply uh, there is single uh, one dependency i will show you in my palm.xml okay so this is the entry you need to do okay uh, the org project lombok and lombok uh, uh, what are the latest version you can take it so i have i am using this particular uh, one uh, 18 and 12 dot 12 okay this one i am using as of now will i will show you the code okay and we'll discuss further okay fine so how to install this so installation is very easy i have already downloaded the jar using the maven okay so that particular dependency this particular jar will get auto downloaded so what, this is a bit different okay so like this is integrating with your eclipse okay so we need to install it with eclipse okay so we need the jar also and we need the installation within your id even if if you are using intellij or eclipse whatever you have to install as a plugin okay so how to install into the eclipse very easy steps go to the path of where the jar is present simply double click it okay if you double click it uh see this pop up will comes okay so it will automatically scan where your uh, eclipse is present and uh, uh, right now i am using eclipse so this has automatically uh, found this particular exe eclipse.exe you have to simply click on the install here this particular area that's it it will get installed just restart your eclipse once and that's it this is your installation steps okay so i'm okay let's get back to here nothing else is required i have written all the steps you can go through that okay and how to verify that if uh, it has been okay so you need to uh, go uh, to the about section of the eclipse so about id so just to verify that uh, yes uh, this lombok has been installed just to verify this line is present here or not lombok this this particular line will come into the eclipse okay so this is all about the installation now let's go to the uh, code okay so uh see this is our uh, normal pojo which we are used to write right so this is your employee class where you have declared id first name and last name see these are auto generated code right so we we don't write all this thing right we right click and if you don't know how to generate it i will show you go to the source and here you can generate the getter setters delegate methods hash code equals to string constructor etc etc we can auto generate all this code right so i have generated this much of code getter setters you can see then this is the constructor this is a default constructor and i have generated the hash code method and the equals method and the two string so see the total number of line is 87 right so this much of code i have written so okay so we will re uh, we will remove all the codes and still uh, we can use all the methods right this is the benefit of lombok just bear with me for one more minute and you will be surprised to see that with only three three or four line of code we can just 
complete uh, we will uh, solve our purpose okay so this is our original employee class right three variable three parameter uh, three uh, member uh, variable on the top and their respective getter setters etc etc so it's a, a long class right so just imagine if you have multiple uh, members so how much big it's uh, pojo going to be right so why do write unnecessary all this code so let's come back to here i will show you so this is a class i have written a new class employee lombok okay so see what i have done i have simply written three private variables member variables here right so that's it i don't have to write anything else so the line of the code is simply 16 from 87 we have reduced to just 16 and i actually i have written only these three lines in actual okay so see uh so just by writing this c uh, i will show you the imports so all of this these are the imports okay lombok setters getters etc etc so whenever you are writing this annotations at the rate getter at the rate setters so these getter setter automatically generated and you can also watch here see if you click here see get id get first name get last name set id all the getter setters are here okay employee this is the default constructor this is a parameterized constructor two string equals each and everything has been automatically generated we can use them these methods but they are not visible in the dot class file if you go everything will be present there okay in just in this particular class dot java only these three line will be there but in uh, after compiling uh, it will be the same class which uh, used to come in a normal case okay so uh, let's go to the test class now uh original test okay so this class is the original one okay so in normal cases what we do uh, i have initialized the class i have initialized with some 20 albert alpha all this first name last name and i have called using the logger dot info right so i need to initialize the logger here using the apache i have i am using the apache logger so this is the normal thing right which uh, you know that okay so in in my case now in the lomb uh uh, employee lombok test okay so let me open this particular class okay so see uh, we are uh, doing exactly the same thing employee we have created the object and i am uh, calling the logger object and see we i have called the setter object right so so this is implicitly called right we don't need to uh, so it is not present right in actual if you click here see there is no setter method right so but we can still call this particular setter so see isn't it awesome right without uh, unnecessary writing all the boilerplate code we are still able to access all the getter setter hash code whatever you want to use okay so this is the first feature i have shown you so the next feature if you have missed to observe that the logger okay see look here in the test class i have simply annotated it with at the rate log 4j and i am sim and i am directly using it log object right in normal case what we are doing see you need to write this particular line right you need to create the logger of this particular class and then only you can use it so see how simple is that right just annotate it with at the rate log 4j and you can use it this is the second features of lombok okay so let's go to the third feature of lombok okay so uh, let me close the rest of the class and i will show you person without lombok okay so this is very simple thing which i have shown you and now i will show you something advanced feature of lombok okay so let me open this person without lombok test class and person lombok okay so see let's go here first okay so uh if you don't know about the uh, this uh, builder pattern uh, builder pa pattern just go through uh, some of the videos so uh, the builder pattern will be clear to you or i will explain you uh, in short in this particular video so what is builder pattern so see uh, i have created a class a person there are few uh, member variable here on the top there is a constructor here okay and I, inside this class i have created a person builder okay so person builder is basically uh, used to build the object of this class 
without any error okay so in in normal cases few fields are mandatory and few fields are not mandatory right and if there are a lot of fields so generally sometimes people get confused while initializing the constructor right let's say there are five fields let's say there are 10 fields in constructor so if the fields get interchanged so the meaning of that will become something else so that's why we generally use the builder pattern so that uh, the code will be very clear and uh, chances of uh, developer uh, making the mistake become less okay so that's why we need to uh, uh, do this uh, we need to write uh, we are writing in a using the builder pattern so in this particular builder pattern we have created a person builder and again we have initialized these five parameters and there are few methods with employee id with first so we need to pass it and it will return a person builder uh, object okay so this is the builder pattern standard builder pattern okay so this see again the number of lines are 65 okay and lot of things we have to write here right see you are creating a class and then again you are making the builder class so it's a big headache right so what do you think can we solve it using lombok let's see this is my lombok class look only five lines of code only five line of code right here i am just i am simply declaring here the member variable which are required and simply annotate it with the at the rate builder that's it nothing else is required okay so automatically the builder class will get generated and see all the members here person uh, lombok builder see you can say builder uh, uh, builder object is here employee id first name last name each and everything is present here it has been auto generated by the lombok this is a very very major thing which lombok has done for us right so let's test this okay so this is uh, i have created a two object one is a person and one is a person with lombok so with person i am i am calling this person builder uh, okay this is the class person without lombok which i have shown you this this particular class and i'm calling the pers uh, person builder and i'm passing with employee id with first name etc etc all this and at the end i'm doing the i'm building it object and i'm calling that particular object okay and see sim this is the same code right we are using exactly the same code here also in the in the person lombok class we are calling the builder this is automatic auto generated method plus uh, this class dot builder and we are again passing the exactly the same thing and if i will run it we will get the exactly the same output see okay so you can see exactly the same thing we are we have printed in the two string method right so this is the beauty of uh, lombok so hope you are convinced with that yeah it's actually reduced the code and the rest is exactly this this is a similar class again uh, a user lombok okay so you can see that again so this is again a builder pattern uh, so i have just uh, this is a, a bit different kind of uh, builder where we are passing the uh, builder class inside the constructor of the main class that's it rest everything you can see all the getter etc have written here okay and then again created a uh, builder user builder here and the similar thing which i have already explained to you and again the same thing with the user lombok we are only initializing these five to six rows that's it and in the test class both the methods look similar in the normal case uh, i am initializing with the user builder and i am passing the mandatory field like here and rest of the field and simply printing it okay and again with the with the test with lombok i'm exactly doing the same thing passing the few fields and printing it and if you again run it the output will be exactly same fine friends so if you compare the output it will be exactly same there is no not a single difference in that so this is the beauty of lombok i hope you enjoyed this particular topic it's a small topic but it really makes our life very easy uh, as we don't need to write unnecessary code and all the functionality is in front of us right friends so hope you enjoyed this particular topic and thank you for watching my videos just wait for the next topic thank you have a, a bye bye and be safe and be home thank you friends bye bye